Hello ladies, Ashley here with Make It With Ashley and I have a bunch of fun techniques. So this is using the Pumpkin Treat um, stamp set and you can see I am using a shimmer brush to add some background to a tag. So I am making like, I don't know, 50 of these fun little tags. Um, so I decided to add some gold shimmer trim, felt like that went well with that orange pumpkin. Um, each of these I've added either the word yum, I think, or cheers, and that's all part of that set. I'm going to pop it up on some foam tape, and that is technique one. So next we have doing some splattering. So you can see I have my, my lovely splatter box, and that is the cheddar gloss spray that I've added there. Um, again, throwing on some shimmer, cheers, and gluing it down. So super simple fun, gives you some neat texture and look. So all of these you can use on tags or cards or even scrapbook layouts as your base page or accent. So next we have some distressed um, oxide ink that I'm bringing in. So I'm hitting it with some water. It doesn't show as well, um, but when you hit distressed oxide with water, you get some really neat effects. Throw some splatter on there and get this great grunge tag. So I'm using... Um, some uh, glitter paper and then again adding in a little cheers um, you can see on the back and all of them I, I did a cute to from and then a thinking of you because I was making these tags to attach to treats that I was going to give out uh, at work all right so here you see the orange distress oxide so again I am using that piece of paper so I don't get oxide all over my hands um, and I try to do some spots that are darker and lighter than others. When you flick it with water, you get that neat effect. Um, adding in some little leftover scraps I have. Um, I think that was from the Blossom Paper Pack. But you can see it's just kind of going through using all these different little ones. So here I'm going to blend two different colors. Um, so I'm going to start with the black. I think that's soot. And then I want to say that's a mowed lawn. Um, so you can see I'm kind of blending the two in together, flicking it with some water, again, to get some drops. You'll see that in the picture. Add some splatter to give it some, uh, some, just some texture to it. And then uh, two from all that wonderful jazz. And then I thought this one was cute. I really liked that the, um, the little coffee is kind of hanging off the side of the card. This would even be really, a card, I just, tag I was gonna say this would be really cute even on a uh, a card front or just like the whole tag itself um, a great little embellishment on any layout okay so next technique is smushing so I take my ink pad that is actually a popcorn wrapper but I take my ink smush it down spritz it with a little bit of water crumple it and then I get this great just kind of organic look um, splatter it and then again I'm gonna add in another one of those little uh, mock Starbucks coffees to it um, since it was a little messy I decided to heat emboss the yum on it because um, it helped make it stand out a little bit more added some shine to it so it really it made a big difference and I heat bossed quite a few more after that one um, add some little black and uh, white dots I think I just stuck to the black ones for now um, so I'm trying to show you the stencil, but the easier once you actually see the stencil. But um, heart stencil, some splatter, and then again, I think I added a donut to this one. Yeah. So lots of cute, just simple ideas, simple designs. Um, I was just kind of playing with some different techniques so you can see what they look like. Okay, so um, pop them up with some 3D foam tape. Makes quite a bit of difference actually. And so you can see um, the difference between the two pinks. Um, here is another stencil. I wanted to show you some varieties on how stencils are not just for backdrops and cards. They are great for tags. I loved this kind of a border one. Um, so it kind of runs the whole length of a 12 by 12 page. It's this gorgeous little pattern. Um, I thought it was cute simple and um, that one was definitely one of my favorites out of the stencil mixture that I had tried. I want to say I play with one more stencil. Yep, there it is. 
Um, so these ones I think want to say were more of like a, a six by six square. So again, same technique on all three of them, just playing with showing different ones. Um, this one almost had like a metal look to it with the, the way the little, I don't know, V's are. Uh, it would be great on a boy layout using some, um, some gray. Uh, so next up is going to be some, some more embossing. So I am going to stamp this uh, and then I'm going to emboss it in white. All right, and so you can't really see much yet, but then I'm gonna take some distressed oxide and I'm gonna blend it on top. Now, the distressed oxide will not stick. So what happens is I can add my color and then I can wipe the excess off of the top of my tag um, and then that white really kind of pops and shines through. 